Welcome to another video from Dr. Locke. My bench is my bench is a mess, absolute mess. Okay, so we're going to do the locksmith shuffle, and we're going to tidy up a bit of room here, and I'm going to show you something and give you some news and a few other things like that, and uh, things that'll be well worth well worth knowing. First of all, I've got some Chubbs and a Jackson to sort out. Let's just put them aside. Not much fun. I got my ring doorbell, which is a piece of shit. I'm not buying another one of them again. Didn't enjoy it. Didn't like it. And I'm going to go through my pinny kit and my lockpick kit, and I'm going to pull out this little tool. Never leave home without it. LW5 Lishy, you can go back in. What we want here is the, not the TE2, no, not the TE2. There we go, LW4 Lishy, original Lishy. Okay, so um, I've just been told and I'm heartbroken and I shed a little tear and I placed uh, my order for a dozen of them. The LW4 is basically no longer going to be made. They made a batch, they sold it to us, and now they're not really interested in selling us anymore. So get your lishies while you can. Uh, drop an email down the bottom, I'll leave a link. If we've got any left, we'll sell them to you. Basically, this tool you can't go past in your lock, lock picking kit. This is my lock picking kit. This is how big it is. All right, that's how big it is. I'll take that, I've got four pick guns, screwdrivers, bump keys, uh, tension tools, plug spinner, followers, you name it, bypass tools. It all lives in a little tiny seahorse case like this from California. Okay, let's put that aside. Now, why is this tool so critical as a locksmith? Well, once it came on the market and I was able to work on how to do it, and like most other locksmiths out there, it's a tool now I can't go past. And I will pick three locks, brand new, out of the box. I will gut them and I'll show you. And we're talking new Lockwood spool pin locks. So, and you know what, I'm, I might even do it. I might even time myself on this. Um, look, I'm not the fastest in the world, but it's still gonna be relative to show you how long it actually takes um, using this tool. So let's go timer, no stopwatch, stopwatch. Okay, let's just put that there. So you know I'm not cheating. Let's find a sharp implement here, sharp implement, and let's just open up these. Now what I'm opening up is 0013, which is metal frame, a box of metal frame 001 Lockwood dead latches in locksmith form or locksmith box form. They are brand new. So to make sure that I don't cheat, go away. Go away. Make sure I'm not going to cheat. I'm just going to peel them open like that. See that? I didn't even look at the keys. I'm just going to dig it out. I'm just going to dig out the cylinder. Just like that. Didn't even see what the combination or anything was. Don't know what it is. And there we go. Third one too. Okay. So let's just pop these aside now. You're guaranteed, you know, I haven't seen no keys or anything. You can identify these by the laser engraving that's on the front of it there, okay? And I'm gonna get my stopwatch as long as people stop calling me, stop messaging me, we can do this. And it's already taken me 15 seconds just to get it into the vise properly. Oh, come on, here we go, all right, let's go. All right, first one down. Let's pop him down there. Now I could make a key at this stage just by doing a decode and making a key, which has been an awesome, awesome feature of this tool. Okay, this one's a little challenging. Reset. There are people out there that can do this quicker than me.
Okay, number two down. Okay, two minutes 40, and I've mucked around here. Okay, this is going to be a challenging one, I can feel it already. Basically, I can hear the pins just resetting. Even though I'm picking it, it's fighting me all the way. And I just lost three or four pins again. Okay, there we go. So that one's picked. Uh, stop. Okay, four minutes, 37 to pick uh, three of them. So, uh, what's that? A minute apiece. Okay, five, 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 six, four. Double check. Five, 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 six, four. That could be the right combination. That might not be the right combination. Um, Triple five doesn't sound right. All right, let's put you back here. Let's bring these back. Let's gut these. Actually, that would have been the right combination. I'm pretty happy with my Lishi tool. It does a pretty good decode, so let's just gut this to show you what's going on. Got to get it off without dropping my pins. So the Lishi tool has definitely been a game changer. Definitely been a game changer. And now that it's stopped production, I am kind of horrified because it is such a good tool. And, um, you know, saves you a lot of drilling and saves you a lot of time pulling locks apart. So, what did I just do? What did I just do? Hang on a sec, let me get a pick. I got too happy there. Didn't expect that to happen. Give me a pick, give me a pick. Any pick will do. Let's try that again save. Alright, so five pins are loaded. Drop, 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 drop. I want to re-key this afterwards. Uh, demonstrating spool pins. Okay, chamber is clear. And what do we have here? Spools. Zooming in, zooming in, 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 in. Is that in? That's it. There we go. Still zooming. Micro zoom and focus come on focus okay let's zoom out can we focus that at least nope can we focus that at least there's got to be some focus here somewhere it's a new camera i'm not normally not normally using this one okay looks like the the focusing is set if you can see that. So basically they are spool pins with a, a top and a bottom kind of spool over uh, at the top and the bottom. They do give a lot of resistance. All three of these are with the same spool pins. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate how effective this tool is and why we need it. If you don't have this tool then you are left with one option and it's pretty much, or two options, uh, to go through with some hand picks and individually pick which takes more time, more skill, more practice because you actually have to re-remember your spacing. As where if you use this pick you've got your spacing and your depths in front of you. Making keys on with this tool is 
you know, it's a, it's a godsend. It's something that we haven't had before, and I wish they'd bring out more tools like it. So what would I give this tool out of 10? I would give it a 10. It does what it's meant to do. You can also pick non-spool pin locks with it as well. Uh, there is, you know, it's all different techniques and things, but now that they're turning and, well, they stop making it, it's going to be a little bit harder for us locksmiths to get it. So my advice is go out and buy, go buy yourself 10 of them, because if, if they've stopped making it, we need it. We've got Lockwood coming out with these type of locks all the time, and without it, you're left drilling or left trying to pick it with a snap pick gun, which you can do, but it is a lot harder. You've seen me just open up three locks in about four minutes, and that was just mucking around. There was no, I haven't even broken a sweat or anything. I was just mucking around just showing you how it works and that it can work. So, you know, um, going to be a sad day when they stop making it. I guess the Australian market's quite small and that's why they make a batch of maybe a few hundred. We all kind of buy one and when it breaks we're all kind of stuck. But in this particular situation using the brands that we use it on uh, it's definitely needed. So that's the LW4 Lishies. We'll be happy to sell them to anybody uh, who is a locksmith who has a locksmithing license. We will see how many we can get our hands on before they stop manufacture or stop being sold. And uh, yeah I'll leave a link down to our website if you wish to purchase. Leave your comments down below and thanks for watching.